What's up, people? It's Cowboy coming at you. I got something to say. Are y'all listening to me? Good morning, my YouTube family. How y'all doing this morning, man? Cowboy coming at you this Sunday morning. Had to pause for the calls, man. Uh, had a little change of plan this morning. I was supposed to be outside getting up some leaves, mulching some leaves up. But it's just too damn windy around here. As fast as I make a pass, the leaves are right back in the yard. So we're going to debunk that plan for now. So I'm back inside, man. Down here in the lab. Watching the masters. Sipping on some coffee. So I decided I'd pull something sweet out the old humidor. Since I had a little bit of time. Something short and sweet. Figured why not today, man. We're going to come out. We're going to have us a little uh, Cuban and coffee this Sunday morning. That that you're looking at is the H. Upman Petite Half Corona. That thing goes three and a half by 44. Very nice looking cigar, man. Very, very slick looking cigar, as you can see. Beautiful brown wrapper there to it. Um, it's got a nice little low sheen to it as well. Some veins and some toothiness. You guys know H. Upman's been in the game for a very, very long time, man. Uh, these are some of the most popular cigars to come out of Cuba. This particular stick here, man, they made this one, uh, this Corona. They cut it down for the purpose of guys being able to enjoy the cigar in a small amount of time. So they don't have to go to waste. So this is a perfect cigar for a break time. 20, 30 minute smoke. Perfect cigar. For a nice shot of coffee today we are enjoying the uh what do i have here i've got the jamaican um blend a little dark medium roast you like that cup you guys enjoy that cup man i'll put a link down and you can go to the merch store and get your cowboyism cup if you'd like to have one but we ain't gonna mess around man uh as we know there's nothing to say about how this thing is dressed i did say it's a cuban so we know that it's a Cuban Peru through and through. So we uh we already got him cut up. Put a punch cut on that thing. So uh we're gonna fire him up and smoke him up. Cowboy gonna tell y'all what I think on this little short smoke this morning. Surprisingly enough, I got a very, very nice draw there. Nice creaminess on the draw. Nice sweet tobacco note on the draw. I mean, this thing smells like a Cuban is supposed to smell. You got that woodiness. You got the earthiness going on. Uh, some creaminess there on the foot. Light sweet tobacco note. Very nice. So, we're going to get this thing fired up, man. We ain't going to mess around. Hope y'all having a good day today, man. Cowboy gonna do everything to enjoy the rest of the day, man. Right now we watching the Masters. Next is gonna be some football. Them leaves gonna have to wait till next week. to say i've been looking forward to this i decided to go ahead and pull it out this particular one has probably been in the box about six to maybe eight months so i mean i think it's ready enough to smoke anybody that knows anything about those cubans man when you get them you have to be patient with them you have to let them rest but so far so good As you can see from the cherry, I've got a very, very nice draw on the punch on this cigar. And, wow. You just know when you got a Cuban. Uh, just an altogether different profile than all the New World cigars that are out there, man. Uh, right off the bat, we got the woodiness. We got the earthiness. Got that slight, slight pepper. Uh, slight pepper on the retro. Nice creaminess there. 
woody aroma already. Mile, plus side of mile on the strength. We'll get into it a little bit more on the body and the uh, the flavors, but uh, so far so good, man. Took a very nice light there. These are some very pleasing cigars. It's been a while since I pulled a Cuban out the box, but we're going to enjoy this half Corona. I call it a short dog by H. Upman this morning. So Cowboy going to get through this first portion of this cigar. Probably just going to be a first and a second portion because, I mean, it's a half Corona, so there's no first, second, and third thirds to this for me. Enjoy my coffee. Come back and let y'all know what I think. I just wanted to come on and speak at y'all real quick this morning. Share one with you. I'll be back. Wow, family. I'm back already, man. I said I wasn't going to break this down into thirds, but the H. Upman Petite Half Corona. Three and a half by 44. It's just too damn good not to come back and say something about it. Check out that burn on that first third of that cigar, man. You guys can see it if I can stay inside of the camera. Look at the ash, man. Nice Cuban ash. Nice burn. Nice low sheen on that wrapper. Just a good looking cigar, man. Really feels good in the hand. The cigar's got an excellent draw to it. Excellent draw. Very, very surprised. You pull out a Cuban, the fear is that I'm going to have to poke it. It's not going to have a good draw. I'm going to have to put it back for later, but not this time. This H. Upman is doing cowboy some good this morning. Great treat. Great breakfast this morning. So on that first third, man, what I really, really enjoy about Cubans is I look forward to the retro. The retro just brings out so much. It's a great... Uh, nice light black pepper with a woodsy aroma to the retro hair. Beautiful earthy notes, man. Got a light honey going on on it already. Beautiful toastiness on the mouthfeel. Got a nice slight coffee note going very well with the Jamaican uh, Blue Mountain Blend coffee. We've got uh, a sweet creaminess. Um, got my leather note going on there as well. Nice rich tobacco core. The cigar already, just in this first little piece, has a beautiful flavor transition going on. Very, very nice. And I'm gonna say that the cigar is medium in strength. Uh, medium in body and medium plus in flavors for me right now. So, Cowboy just wanted to share that with y'all on this first third, man. And the other thing about these Cubans, short smokes like this, man, you have to learn with any cigar. Be patient with the cigar. Uh, smoke the cigar. Don't let the cigar smoke you. You know. Um, or maybe I said that wrong. Anyway, you got to be patient with the cigar. And uh, try not to smoke it too fast. So it burns hot, you lose the flavors, and that's very hard to do with a cigar like this, not to smoke it too fast, so we gotta be patient with it. Those of us that are out here at Cigar Opinions, Cigar Opinionists as I call it, or those that, of, that do reviews, we tend to kind of smoke a cigar fast because we're trying to get through the review. Sometimes it come, becomes unpleasant because we're trying to get these videos out to you guys, but I'm gonna take my time with this one. I'll be back on the second portion to let, let y'all know what I think. Y'all relax. Okay, YouTube family. I am truly, truly enjoying my breakfast this morning, man. The H. Upman Petite Half Corona, three and a half by 44, is outstanding. We just lost the ash on that thing, man, but that thing was holding a very, very good ash through the halfway point. Nice, even burn all the way through. Beautiful ash. Good looking cigar, man. Perfect break cigar. Perfect halftime cigar, man. The cigar is extremely aromatic, man. There's something about Cuban cigars. The aroma from a Cuban cigar versus uh, New World cigars. It's just different when you know. 
But I am very pleased with this cigar today. Very, very pleased. I'm glad I pulled it out of the box. I mean, I think this cigar is going to end up on the uh, plus side of my medium in body and medium plus in flavors. I mean, the, uh, the, the aroma is magnificent. Uh, the retro hair is so, so pleasing with the slight pepper. Uh, got the little honey coming off of it as well. The nuttiness. Oh man, the, the, the leather, the sweet, creamy, creaminess. Uh, very nice, mild, smooth tobacco core. Uh, toasted bread note. Sweet cream. Even got a slight bit of spice there as well. Great earthy leather note. Beautiful cedar wood. I mean, just a magnificent cigar. These cigars can be found, uh, if you're lucky enough to find them, and uh, they do come in tens of five, I believe, for about 30 bucks. But you could get a box of these. They come in boxes of 25 for just north of 100 bucks. If you can get your hands on it, it would be a great, great uh, beginner Cuban cigar. Anybody that's a beginner smoking and you want to get into Cubans, these are not that expensive. You can look these up. The H. Upman Petite Corona. Great for any time of the day. If you want to take a break at work, halftime of a game, uh, drinking a cup of coffee in the morning where you don't want to spend too much time because you definitely don't want to waste a Cuban. So, I am uh, going to go ahead and score this cigar, man, real quick. Tell y'all what I think. So, on the construction, I'm going to give it a 10. On the burn, we're going to give it a 10. On the flavors, we're going to give it a 9. I'm going to give it an 8 for the body. And I'm also going to give it an 8 for complexity and transition. So, when we break that down and tally this up, the H. Upman uh, Cuban Petite Corona, Absolute True Habano, is going to get an overall score on Cowboy Scale of 1 to 10 today of a 9, which makes this an excellent cigar. Beautifully smoking cigar, man. So, thank y'all for hanging out with me, man. This is Cowboy. We're going to continue to enjoy the rest of the day. I'm going to take the day and relax. I suggest that if you can relax, that you do the same. I'm out of here. A big nine for the H. Upman Cuban Petite Corona. This cowboy, that's my take on it. Y'all enjoy your day. Peace.